And joining me now is Casey Burgett. He's a resident fellow at the Governance Project. And Casey, uh, you know, one of the interesting things, if you're a member of the public who's mm -hmm. tuning in to, these public imp uh, to the public impeachment hearings today, chances are you saw Jim Jordan mm -hmm. and John Ratcliffe, the other uh, Republican congressman. Why are we seeing these two guys so often, and are they being effective in making their case? As to whether they're being effective, I think that's up in the air. I think you're going to see Democrats say that uh, that volume doesn't equal substance, that though they were loud and contentious and took on the witnesses pretty directly, um, they may have uh, not disrupted the, the facts of the case that they already knew to be true. On the Republican side, though, they, they are probably satisfied and pretty excited about how, uh, how forceful they were, how, how they did take it to the witnesses and, and lay it out what they think are, are, are facts in support of their arguments. But we don't know yet if this moved anybody's needle. Uh, we saw the, the transcripts being leaked out before, so a lot of this was expected, so we just don't know yet. Yeah, and then when it comes to this, you know, this is obviously a serious allegations against the president. We are here to kind of observe whether or not the case is being made, but politics is mm -hmm. a huge part of this, mm -hmm. naturally. And you wrote about what both sides, Republicans and Democrats, really were hoping to accomplish going into the today. Mm -hmm. What were those and did they accomplish them? Right, so you mentioned the politics of this and it, we shouldn't shy away from this. This is a political remedy to a, a political question. This isn't court, this isn't the court of law where you, you get to the substance of policy which will be debated. But mm -hmm. as in terms of what was effective and what wasn't, uh, this now shifted to where Democrats actually have to make the case. They have to make a persuasive argument to get the public opinion to force members of Congress to vote the way that they want them to. Mm -hmm. uh, on the Republican side, they were just trying to confuse the matter, to, to, to make to distance Trump from the decision makers. That's why you saw so much time being spent on how many conversations have you had with the president? How well do you know him? Just they're trying to lengthen that, that line of communication to distance Trump away from whatever allegations are being made. And kind of going forward, because we have a, another one of these on Friday, mm -hmm. and then we have a slew of them next week. Mm -hmm. What, did this set the table at all for the for the hearings going forward? Is there anything else that you're looking for? I think we're going to see similar formats going forward. This was kind of uh, uh, they they had the testimony that they wanted to present first to, mm -hmm. to link uh, the quid pro quo, the ambassador Taylor having uh, career diplomats uh, raising alarm about these issues to get that out in, in front of the pe people. The main thing missing right now is Republicans are hammering over and over that there's no firsthand knowledge, mm -hmm. and that's that's fair to say, except for they're denying the people that can provide that first knowledge. It's the, they, they've been subpoenaed, they've been asked to come d before them, so Democrats are, are likely to hammer the fact that we want first-hand knowledge, too. You're not providing it to us, yeah. so we're waiting for that to actually happen. Yeah. And in addition to the, uh, the, the uh, Jim Jordans of the world that we've seen so much of mm -hmm. today, uh, the hearing started, we saw general counsel, outside counsels mm -hmm. for both sides. How did that play into that? Do you think it had an impact one way or the other? Right. You, I, I, th I was a fan of it, and I always yeah. am, because, uh, as you mentioned, this is a political circus, and you can't help when the cameras are flipped on that members want to take their time. But to shift the questioning to a, a council shows that the substance is really, really what yeah. matters to these people. They want to make the case, and, it, uh, and a lot of times it's member uh, people with uh, professional experience. The, yeah. the Democratic side had a couple decades of experience yeah. as, a, as, a, as a prosecutor. You can see that reflecting in the, uh, the questioning, the back and forth that he has with, with a witness that you, is more like a courtroom rather than a, con, a typical congressional hearing. Yeah. Casey, you're a busy man today, so yep. thank you so much for your time. No, thank you.